So I'm eating a cracker. <laughs> I should wait until I swallowed it. Good morning. Hope you guys are having a good Monday. It's the beginning of a cooler week. It's 57 right now and it's lunchtime. And I'm hungry. So we've got to fill the wood rack up. And Seth's coming up here with the tractor. I think that's our game plan today. Sometimes we do it with the mower and like a little pull behind like wagon that's attached to it, but I think it's blocked in the shop or something. So he didn't want to walk it up in the wheelbarrow. I told him to, it's not that far of a walk, but he's doing it with the tractor. And y'all, we finally got our forks ordered and they arrived here. Y'all, step in the hole. I'm having a, an issue with doing that. Stepped in two holes this week. Oh, I gotta go open my greenhouse window real quick. Forgot. Y'all, that's the thing with my greenhouse. Like it gets cold at night, so you gotta close everything up. And then as soon as the sun comes up, it heats up in here and you gotta go open the window back up. Um, I think they make a vent fan you can put on the front that has like louvers and that would automatically open up when the fans come on. I wouldn't have to come down here and do that, which would be nice, but I don't think it would look as good just having metal louvers here. So that's why I haven't done it. But anyways, it's open now and it'll cool off really quick. Basically to whatever I set the thermostat to. So it's pretty nice in the winter. It's really controlled. Y'all gotta water my lettuce. All right, so we finally got our forks for the tractor. I come in over the weekend and Seth and my husband put them on there. And our game plan is to build like a box that it can pick up and we'll keep it filled with wood and then we can easily like transfer it to the port so we're gonna put wheels on it or something. Is that what y'all are doing? Like some sort of box with wheels? Yeah. So that's the game plan to make things easier with bringing the wood up because we're bringing a lot of wood back and forth over the fall, winter, and spring when we quit using the stove, which is usually end of April. So, yeah, that's what some, that, that's what winter entails. It entails all this stuff. Actually, it's just like a year-long thing because when we're done burning it, we're cutting it, stacking it, all that fun stuff. cutest kittens they were all like little calicos and I couldn't believe the mama had her her litter in there but we ended up finding homes for them I wanted to keep them all they were so adorable but we ended up putting them on the back porch and um, the mama cat was super wild we were trying to get them to be friendly so we could you know rehome them but the mama cat she found them back there one day we went to church and she like ripped the screen off to get to them so we had to redo that yeah it was real fun so yeah, live and learn. We won't do that again. Y'all, it's been kind of a lazy Monday. Me and Eli have been painting. I made some breakfast for dinner. We had country ham. It was so good. And I think my chariot awaits and we're headed down to the chicken coop to get some eggs. I'm gonna see what the guys are up to. I think they're cutting some kindling and then I'm calling it a day. I'm headed in for a shower and I may not do much the rest of the day. Are you my driver or is daddy? We can just leave. Huh? We can just leave him. Leave him? Well, that wouldn't be very nice. I gotta get an egg carton. Oh, and I gotta close my greenhouse window. It's supposed to be, um, I think it's supposed to be low 40s tonight 
It got 41 last night. My greenhouse was 58.9 or something. So I think that was pretty good. And I didn't run the stove. So it held the temperatures pretty good. But it was sunny. So if it's a warm day, it retains that heat in there. Here's my driver. No, show for I got to go down and get a carton. A carton. At the greenhouse. Ooh, it's going to be chilly. Oh, that tree's pretty over there. Yep. You're gonna go on a ride and look at the fall colors? Huh? No, yeah, take you over here. Let's look at this tree up here. Pretty Not tree, good. look at all of these leaves. Seth's gonna be mowing them up, mulching them pretty soon. Yeah. Oh yeah, look at this tree lamp. Yeah, you need to get pretty. that tree lamp. No, you need to go. That's what you need to get so you don't hit yourself in the eye when you're mowing. There you go. Watch it. Oh, watch. good one there. <laughs> Here we're starting to lose daylight. It's getting dark and chilly. Better put that cannoli up or whatever. You What's want. a cannoli? Whatever that big leaf plant is right there. Calancoe. Cannoli. Cannoli. No, it's fine. It's not below freezing. It'll bring the color out in it. I am going to close the window in here first real quick though. Ooh, it's warm in here. It feels good. It is 77. Feels fantastic. I'm just going to put them in this yep. random bucket. Where am I going? I said that you all are going to have to go get some pellets. Yes. And this time it's going to take further and don't load the pallet in the trailer. Just load the pellets in the trailer. 100 times this year. Where am I going? I think this is my stop. Right here? Yeah. Three eggs. Not a whole lot today. are gonna cut me some camera. We're out. <laughs> Headed back to the house. Gonna get the fire stoked up again before bedtime. Hope you guys have a blessed night, sleep well, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, hope you guys are having a great day. We are at the aquarium store today. We haven't been here in a while, so we're just gonna go browse around and see what kind of fish we can find. Maybe some plants too. They used to have some really cool ones out in the back. I'm not sure if they're out still because of the weather, but let's go check it out.
Too big for it. Oh, that's pretty. Cool. I'm wanting food. That looks like some of mine. The smaller ones. I like that yellow one too. Pretty, look at that. It's pretty though. Snail. Oh, yeah. There's a bunch of them in there. Yeah, I'd like to take them. You probably had babies. You probably could get some. They're all in there. A lot of these are like pond plants. I think that's what most of them are. Any Japanese maple? I think they're about done out here. We came out here in the spring and it was, they had a lot of really cool stuff. Let's go check on the status of Seth's new fish. I'm not sure if he's got them in yet or not. Oh, we're still acclimating. Cool. He got some Tetras and we got a Grammy. And I think he has like a blue fin on the top and he's orange. And then what is that other little thing called? Golden dojo loach. A golden dojo loach. So, yeah, cool. We're back and it's releasal time. Oh, he's pretty. Super pretty. All right, y'all, I've made my way outside. It is a beautiful day here. I tell you, fall here in East Tennessee, so pretty. The leaves are really starting to change quickly. Just from last week, there's a lot more color. Um, the red ones, like the dogwoods and things like that, they're showing a ton of color, so, so pretty. Um, I am down here to water my greenhouse and get them watered up. It's probably warm in here. I see the vent fans on, so it's in the 60s out here. But in here, it is 88. So, feels good, actually. Really good. All right, I'm gonna water my plants. Everybody looks like they're still doing pretty good. Well, y'all, I've got some much needed cleaning done and it's 530 and it's 74 degrees out here today. So it's warmed up quite nicely. We don't have a fire today. I actually had one yesterday and let it die out because, you know, it kind of gets warm during the day right now, this time of year, some days. And my husband's like, well, maybe we'll start it up before we go to bed. And I did. And holy cow, it got hot. It was like 85 degrees upstairs last night. So, whew, yeah, it was hot. So I decided not to burn one today. And I, I'm glad I didn't because it's, it's pretty warm out here right now. Well, the guys are down at the shop into something else. I don't know. I think they're building some shelves for the Murphy bed that they had um, recently finished. 
they're actually they had white shelves in it and they're wanting to do some wooden shelves that he can actually put in there to replace if he wants to change them out so let's go see Building shelves. We'll need to sand this back right here too, real quick. So Me? Just, no. Yeah. The sander man? Go get the sander. I didn't know where it's at. Oh, I know where it's at. I've used it. Yeah, okay. I have used it before. Why? Because the current. Oh, that was not that one. Was no, it wasn't. That was. An older one. They give me a hard time because I did use the sander once in the house. What I use it on? I don't know, but um, it got tangled up in the blind cord and went. Yeah, it was the whole thing. So, anyways, I got banned. We'll take a ride with Seth. He's going to get a drink. Come look at the pretty leaves. Oh, go slow, I can't see him. Squirrel. Do what? There's a squirrel. Uh -huh. Look at the tree there. Woo. You shouldn't drink that stuff, that's bad for you. They don't listen to me though. I only let him have one a day. Cause it's really, really not good for you. Them old yucky things. I don't drink them. <laughs> I'll try not to judge, though. Take me down and see that pretty red tree down there, behind the woods down there. I want to see it before it gets dark. I don't know if that one down we'll there. We'll look at that one. We'll look at that it's one. It's close. Look, there's one down by the barn, too. It's pretty. We'll go slow. Ooh, it's really tree. bumpy over here. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Let me walk over here and look at it. That is so pretty. Y'all love fall. It's gorgeous.